our personal reaction? Let's let's go. Uh, let's play football. Uh, now we know who's going to lead the team. So it's his job to to make it happen. Were you surprised? No, not because of. I don't think I would have been surprised with regardless of who we picked. Like I said, they had done such a great job of rotating them. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, you could have picked any of the three, and I feel like everything would have been the same. How would it some thought that this could have carried into into the game? Are you glad that the decision was made with a full week of practice? For me, it didn't make it. It wouldn't have made a difference. I have to catch the ball the same way, <laughs> regardless of who throws it. Uh, I think for the coaches, it was more more relevant for them than anyone else. So they know uh, who to focus on more than others, I guess. That would be my, my guess of why it was more important to them. But for us, we still have to do our job. Does Grayson bring anything to the table that you think the other two might not? I'm not going to answer that. That's not a good question to answer. <laughs> I'll, I'll, try, I'll try it a different way. Does him being named the starter say more about what he's done or, or did the other guys have him? I mean, uh, did he, you know, coming in in the summer and being the starter already, what, what did he do to get in that spot, you think? I think they all. I think they all worked hard. Obviously, he had something that they saw that was different than the other two. Uh, obviously, that's why he was picked, and they weren't. Now, what they saw in him that they didn't see in the other two, I'm not sure of. Uh, it's not my job to try to figure out. To be completely honest, like I said, I'm a, I just play. So if him, Bryce, or Fatone were through the ball, I still have to catch him. Uh, there's some defining feature about Grayson that the coaches saw that separated him from the pack. So they'll probably answer that question better than me. Uh, I mean, obviously, Coach Tidy won there for a reason. And so, I mean, he got most experience. I, I don't know. What was your reaction to it when you kind of found out and, and knew about it? Was it something you were ready for it to happen? Or, or you know, were you glad it happened with the choice? Or what was kind of your emotion? I think we're all happy to have, you know, just a name, a face for our quarterback here, here in Georgia. You know, when it happened, I mean, I was excited, excited for him, excited for the program because, we, you know, we, we start planning around him for the first game. So I think it helped us all, helped us overall for right now. now when you, you said that, you said, you know, put a face, you know, have a face to the program. I mean, did it affect the way you guys prepared? Do you think it affect the way you prepared and, and other positions prepared throughout the camp? Well, I think just getting used to Grayson, you know, because right now you have to get used to three quarterbacks. And I would just know that he's a quarterback. we got to figure out things he likes, what he does in some situations. So just figuring it out around him. Would there have been any choice that would have surprised you out of that group? I mean, would, would any other kind of... I was ready to go for any of them. They were all very good, and I gave it their all every day. What was sort of the reaction from you and the team when, when they made the announcement finally yesterday? It was a one in three chance, so we knew <laughs> <laughs> we knew who's one of those guys. Um, like I said before, it's it's a really tough decision. I'm happy it's not up to me because you're really splitting hairs there. But um, at the end of the day, we, we knew that no matter who they picked, we were going to back them up, and we're still going to love the other guys the same way. I mean, they're, they're still all of our close friends and close teammates, and uh, they chose Grayson for the first game, so we're behind them. When there was a month and a half or whatever it was before he committed to Georgia and, and showed up on campus, did, did you pull up some Virginia thing to get, get a look? Was this guy going to be throwing me passes? Not really. I, I try not to worry about all that stuff too really? much. I usually just – I mean, we're busy enough here that yeah. – I don't really need to be hoping, oh, I hope I get this guy, I hope we get this guy. I just trust God and our coaches to get the right people around us. Thanks. I'm sure you have to know how hot a talk, talk item this has been for Georgia fans for, for this oh, yeah. summer. When you guys were in, in private groups, you know, you're with other players. I mean, how much did you guys talk about this and wonder how it was going to end? <laughs> uh, like you said, it was private groups, so I'm going to keep it like that. <laughs> That's about as much as I can say. So was there any little thing maybe that distinguished Grayson uh, for this? I have no clue. All I know is uh, no matter who was back there, I'd turn around, the ball would be there on time and be a good throw. And so, once again, I don't know enough about the quarterback position. I'm happy that I didn't have to make the – the, uh, the decision, the choice, but um, that's why we pay Coach Hottenheimer a lot of money so he can coach them up and get the right guy out there. <laughs> Did you uh, think it needed to be done maybe a week in advance rather than waiting up till game time? Is it is it important to know now? Yeah, I, I really like that. You know, I always feel like the sooner the better because then they start to feel that confidence and they start to feel all right. You know, the team's behind us. We're 
we're behind all three of those guys because you know we're one big team and we're you know we're behind everyone. But I, I do think it is better the sooner the better, and that's why. We couldn't rush things, though. That's why this decision was a little harder. But I, I am happy that they signed it yesterday. Was there any awkwardness in that you're bringing a guy in over the summer? It was it was a unique route that Grayson took to get the job. Was there any kind of awkwardness or just uniqueness that you guys maybe talked about this summer going, this is kind of a weird deal. We kind of thought we had three quarterbacks. Now it's a different third quarterback when Jacob left and Grayson got here. Yeah, you would think so, but um, it was really just a seamless transition. I mean, just came on in and it was like he was there for months and I, I feel like he's just one of those guys that you, know, you can just fit into a crowd and he's, he's just one of the guys. <laughs> Did it surprise, I mean I know it was close, but I think a lot of the fan base thought it would be Bryce. Was there any surprise when you first heard when they made the announcement that it was Grayson yesterday? I, I, I tried to remain you know, pretty unbiased. I tried to remain, you know, it's, it's not my decision, it's not <laughs> my choice. So once again, I don't know enough. And I wasn't watching all the film like Coach Schottenheimer was, and I wasn't watching all the you know, play-by-play decisions that I was making. So I was not surprised. It was one of those things. If they picked any one of those three guys, I would have been like, okay, let's, let's go win a game. <laughs>